President Bola Sinumbo has called on religious leaders to refrain from vilifying or the integrating the nations in their sermon. Speaking during Ramadan Iftar with traditional rulers and religious leaders at the State House on Thursday in Abuja, the president emphasized the importance of religious leaders in shaping public opinion and fostering a sense of unity among citizens. He also urged the leaders to be more constructive in their criticism of those in elective positions. Vice President Kashim Shetsima also emphasized the pivotal roles of religious and traditional rulers in promoting peace and unity, urging them to continue to build bridges that transcend ethnic and religious divides. We live in the understanding of temporary challenges. Yes, Nigeria is strong, has a good reputation across the world. No military men respect us better than we respect ourselves. No terrorist, no terrorist can defeat our spirit. No matter how bad the target, the soft targets. You know, going to the backyard of a of a school in, in Koriga and evacuating some children and giving the wrong figures. It doesn't defeat us. It doesn't. He wants to redefine the meaning and concept of modern leadership. For so many decades, the poet subsidy was an albatross round the neck of the Nigerian nation. But he took the painful bullet, the painful decision from day one to hit the ground running. Now the economy is turning the corner. Now the province of doom are going silent. They were anticipating that Naira will go to 5,000 to the dollar. Now the dollar is crashing. And they are counting their losses. And they will continue to count their losses. And the economy, by the grace of God, is bouncing back and in full force. We need to rally around him. We need to align ourselves with him as we navigate the treacherous water of banditry and insecurity. Also speaking on behalf of the Traditional Rulers Council of Nigeria, the honor of Ife Obadeye Ogunwusi, we are felicitating with the president on his 72nd birthday, assured him of the unwavering support of traditional rulers, and commended the government's efforts to address the hike in food prices and the security challenges. Religious leaders and traditional rulers, we want to all join hands to say happy birthday, Mr. President. long life and prosperity. May God Almighty continue to give you strength, wisdom, and that capacity to continue to do all the things God has actually called you to do for our nation. May God Almighty continue to be with you. Your Excellency, uh, His Majesty has spoken so eloquently on the security situation of this country, which we believe you are doing your best, you know, to see that the entire country is safe, you know, for everybody to leave. So we are optimistic, we are hopeful, and we are, you know, behind you solidly, you know, to ensure that we are back in our track as one indivisible country. The entire Muslim community are grateful, as I mentioned, and uh, I believe um, it's the same thing, you know, that would be mentioned by, by uh, the Secretary General of the Christian Association of Nigeria. Um, we believe in this country, and we hope and pray that Nigeria will remain as one individual entity uh, with the um, approach and inclusivity, you know, uh, in this current administration.